Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a B6 TN set up for you guys and I'm going to try and talk through the majority of it so it could be a long video so get yourself a snack and a drink. But my B6 uh, TN is Foxy Fix Spice Pepper and it's been through, I've had some but it's kind of gaining some um, uh, character there, but I think it's gorgeous. I'm still in love with it. I'm always touching it. And I've got a little gold um, moon, and it's just a compact. And I just moved in across my um, chocolate cherry autumn tan setup into it, and then I was able to add a fourth one um, because the other one was a single. But it's mostly empty now. I didn't have a lot of plans for this, so. I decided I'm finally going to do a new setup and it's not seasonal, it is based on my new clip art uh, collection called Planning Usagi which you can find in my Etsy shop linked below. I've got all the bits and pieces here, so I'm going to just take them out and I'll show you what we'll be using. I'm going to use these tab stickers from Rose Colored Days. They're just gold and they're really pretty and they're untransparent. Then I made some tabs out of uh, leftovers from the card um, stuff that I printed off and then I just rounded the corners. So they're kind of tabby. I mean, <laughs> I don't have a tab cut out so I got a whole bunch of paper clips. I've been using black K and Co XOXO um, Paper clips. I'm going to switch to gold for this. A fox. I got a simply gilded bow here. Maybe I got some die cuts that I printed off, or I was given this one and that one from Scribble Prints Co. But I'll go through all of them more closely when I actually use them. I printed out a whole bunch of stickers for myself from my art kit. These ones I want to sort of emulate the plan of sophisticated fox and pip so I'm going to make some little um, things to go into the side pockets here and I just printed off purple on one side and these bows from my summer London set on this side because I thought they'd still go and then I printed off my own papers and cut them out into B6 size from my plan Usagi set um, I, I sell my papers for seven Australian dollars, so I think that's a pretty good deal. And you can print off as many as you want. I just ran them through my printer twice, so they're double sided. I've got the hollow glitter and the paint, white paint strokes. I printed these on a normal card stock from Spotlight, and I just set it to photo matte paper so it printed off a bit nicer. I got my um, purple lace. And then my stars and moons in purple, purple roses with white roses, and my black, although this wasn't like a black black, um, the paper itself is a dark grey, because I thought, um, you know, you wouldn't want straight up black with this set, but that's just me. And then the other side of that is this, I got a little nudge here from my printer, but that, it's for me, so who cares. I'll put a sticker over that. This is my, like stars and bulky kind of paper and on the back side of that is the other lace one the blue one so you can see how I got it like that so I got all the papers that I need I got stickers I got tabs so let's quickly uh, to music I'll just empty out this planner and we can get started I think I should actually turn I should find my laminator and turn it on as well because I need to laminate these. So I'll do that as well uh, and then be right back to you. But let's empty this girl out. Love is still 
guess I have my laminator turning on in the background for when we make these little cards for the pockets. I'm going to do those a bit later. And I guess we'll get into the actual dashboards. Although first I do want to take off these. I glued them down with a permanent adhesive, the Kokuyo glue tape roller. And I'm just gonna see how undo will will do taking it off. <laughs> well it works perfectly for both through both sides of the paper, so I'm just gonna take all of these old tabs off rather quickly. So I just only needed actually to use it on this one because the rest are new inserts and it's kind of sticky. So I think I'm going to print off a new one of these. It's just a notes um, notebook. And I've got another one here. I think I'm going to replace both of these because I'm not sure about them yet. I guess I should have done a bit more planning but I did decide to add in these two. Um, and then... Mm. But then I have the two tabs. This TN said it might take a while, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to print out some new booklets. So we'll be back to this later. How about we do some other bits before we deal with the notebooks and the tabs, actually, before I switch over? Because I do the laminator setting up, so I might as well do these pocket ones. So what Jasenia and Amanda from the Planner Sophisticate did, I got some crap on here. Just trying to rub it out. <laughs> I do actually use this planner, so what they did was they made cute little files with tabs that you could just they laminated and put into here, and it gives the planner some structure because they are very floppy leathers and you could also like attach pockets on them. Oh my cat's looking at the laminator. Hold on. No lamination but Alright I've just kicked <laughs> I've just kicked her out so um while the laminator is going. So yeah you just put them in there and then you can attach target pocket Adhesive pockets. Where did I put mine? Oh man, this this setup is becoming a literal disaster because I cannot find my target adhesive labels anywhere and I literally used them last week. So well they go on after you laminate them, so we're gonna do that later. But I guess we'll just make these quickly. Now I realize I had these really cute once more with love little this proper notepad, no stickiness, where you could do like a to-do list, a grid, and a Monday through Sunday, and I thought this could be really cute actually. Like, maybe over the pink side. Scented, like I would just take one of these and put it on the back, and then you could use um, markers to write on it. I thought that could be cute, so I might try that on one of them. And I got these little tabs, I made them slightly um, skinnier than my other tabs and they're also patterned so they're a bit prettier. Um, yeah, I thought put them on here so you can like pull the tab out. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> so, I'm going to put the tab on the top or the bottom. I guess the top will be better. So I might just glue the tab down now with my glue tape roller. And I'll just do it right across. So all I did to make these tabs was um, I had some leftovers from cutting out these B6 sizes. I'm just going to have it slightly over the edge. Try and make it straight. Um, so what I did is I cut out a fit, like a strip and then I folded it in half and then I folded that in half. So you folded it to make this fold. Then you fold in half and cut that. 
so and you keep folding in half until you have the width that you want and that way that they're, they're going to all be the equal width and then I just use my corner rounder on the corners um, yeah <laughs> you know to um, to make the round tabby corner do I want to put one of these on here maybe I can use I don't know if any of these really work but uh, on the back I will stick one of these this week's goes over the tab a little but that's okay better that it goes over the tab than the you know <laughs> the tab covers up any munchkins or anything so I'm just going to take an adhesive roller and try and get most of it so it will be run through a, a laminator so that should be okay yes last night I thought I was all set for my to do the setup <clears throat> and then the acetates that I printed last night never tried so I don't have acetates right now to put in and then obviously now I've lost my target things and my my um I've changed my mind on my inserts it's all a bit ridiculous <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> I think this will be the first one just something simple and we could put some post-it notes on the front or something like that but this way if I want to use a marker but you can use like sharpies and then do a wet a, a dry erase marker over the top although I do have uh, wet erase markers as well so you we could always do that so we'll laminate this one and then we want to have one at the back as well and this one I think the tab will be on the bottom so let's put the tab on the bottom but I want the um, bows showing on both ones. I think that's how I want to do it. And then I was going to make, um, put a little pocket on this one to make it like, um, you know, <laughs> have stickers in it, but I'll have to find my pocket, my adhesive pockets for that. I think this one's going to be very simple, literally just this. I don't want to overwhelm it with too much, so I'm going to go and laminate these and figure some other stuff out. We'll be back later. Okay, I am back, and it's like two days later, <laughs> but I have all my inserts. I've got a monthly, and I'll show you all the inserts probably when we do the uh, flip through at the end, which is time stamped. If you just want to skip all this setup, I got a daily, uh, my uh, rewind weekly, and then a notes, which I do a couple of things with. So I got all the inserts, and then I did run these through a laminator. Um, I just ran it twice through the pouch, which you can fit both in one pouch. Then I cut them out, and then I ran them through again just to seal the edges. This is a really good tip if you're if it never like seals the edges properly, which I have a cheap laminator so it doesn't, but there you go, you got the two and I laminated that in there so I can use uh, wet dry or dry erase markers on here or permanent and get rid of it, you know. Um so I think that's cool. I guess I'll put these in now. So they kind of give structure to the planner as well as a little decoration. So you have little bows sticking out with the tabs. And then it just feels a bit firmer in the front. We'll see. I might not actually keep these. Um, I don't know how functional they're going to be. But I should remember that I've got, I found my target dollar spot pockets. So I'm just going to put one on here now, so I can also fit other things in here if I want. I'm just going to like try and put it near the bottom. So now I've got a pocket, I can put stickers in there, I can put receipts, I can put anything in there. 
but we've also got this back pocket to put stuff in as well but and now we've got a little pocket in there so now I just I really want to get into the oh yeah, I was going to do the tabs which is why I was going to do these first and I think I'm going to put the tabs up the top and I think I might actually snip all of these in half because I don't think they need to be as tall as I have them. So I'm going to just line them all up here and just snip with my scissors. Oop. Not hard. Oh, because <laughs> now they um, splat everywhere. There we go. Got all the pieces. So I'm just going to glue them down with my glue tape roller and I was I was wanting to put them across the top. So I was going to put just stick them in here and then the first one was going to be monthly. Which I think will work up there. So I'm going to just glue these all on and then I will put the um, foil uh, labels in. <laughs> Let's do this. Try not to get glue on those. So the first one is the monthly. I'm just going to unfold this and put it right there. So there's that one. Um, and then daily, I don't mind if they, you know, overlap a little. I mean, you know, it's not super important to have the tabs, in my opinion. <laughs> so, I'm going to put like the daily here. I shorten them because they do go on the like. on the first page as you can see there so I probably won't use that page maybe we'll see so I got the daily one so oh well it pretty much worked out <laughs> then we have the weekly which I have filled in this front one so hopefully it won't look too terrible <laughs> with the tab over it Put plenty of glue on that. So the daily is there, so we'll put it around here. Oh, see, that's also bad on there. So then we've got the weekly. The daily one's sticking out a bit much. <laughs> Oops. I think I still have time to move it. There you go. That worked out. Alright, and then we're going to put the last one in, which is the notes. And I'm just going to put that right on the outer edge. Um, I think, I mean, I've tried the sideways tabs, as you guys have seen, but, um, I feel like they get a little squished, or something to that effect, being on the side. Oh, was that weekly? <laughs> so, there are the tabs in there, now the daily is like too low, I think, but oh, they all pretty much work. On a daily, sorry, <laughs> what am I doing? There we go, that's a bit better. Oh, something's just not, there we go. <laughs> that's how it's going to look at the planner, so let's just, um, I'm going to put some more glue on here. Just to get that corner. Alright, so now we're going to put on... The stickers, I'm just going to do one side. 
So I've got the monthly label. This is from Rose Colored Days again if you didn't catch that. I put that near the top in the center. So there we go. Just monthly at the top there. We have monthly. We've got I think there is a daily one, yes. Daily. Put that right at the top in the center. Much easier with um, tweezers. Then we got a weekly one. That at the top. I was going to use um, this health one, but then I realized the dailies that I decided to put in also had a hydrate, and I can also just put workout and mood in there if I wanted to. So, um, I don't know, I might just use the daily for that. I don't know. I know you guys. Should I use the health or not? But anyway. So most of my notes, so what I do with the notes insert is that the very front of it is um, I turn it into a per online order tracker so I'm going to put purchases and then when I and then I use the back pages as notes so but I won't label those but technically there we have all the shiny tabs on my booklets so that's nice we'll put them to the side while we build everything else now we're going to do the actual dashboards and I've got four obviously and I've got a bunch of two-sided pages so all right what do I want for the front page I think I might actually fast forward this section with some music just because I need to get into like the groove of <clears throat> decorating so it might take me a while so just enjoy the video and then we'll come back together and put them all away and uh, put the last bits together the tide has turned around just listen to the sound to
that's all my dashboards done. I uh, fished out these holographic stickers that I got from and they're like crystal-y. But I got these from Planet Gems from a mystery kit from a while back last year. So I decided to pull those out and thought they were perfect and then I also brought in these Simply Gilded bunny labels just for the very back. Just for a little extra and then I brought in a ton of washi try and find all the ones um, and I used some samples as well these are all simply gilded except this one which is MT but I thought these would all be perfect to include because you know a lot of it is Sailor Moon with the moons and the constellations this one's very plain but I kind of just liked it with the roses and the sleeping cat little Luna so yeah um, let's get these into the uh, planner then. So obviously we got monthly first. And we'll just slip it in from the center. And then get the tab in. There we go. Um, and then the next one is the daily. I don't think, I don't have enough acetate or vellums to warrant putting any in because I would prefer if they all had something rather than just like one which I've got at the moment so just going to leave that out, just going to be dashboards and inserts try and get squeeze all of those in here and then my purchases put it in here. Ugh. Now we're looking a lot better. Oh, it's looking really cute. So there's the front of the plan which I think is really cute. I was really proud of this um, lace that I put in and then obviously I went back and added the holographic stars and just all the washi. It's perfect. So now we're going to do some pocket work and I want to put in this really large, um, you can get this on my shop as well, just as a digital download you can get in holographic or gold, but I just did it in gold because I feel like this kit can use both gold and holographic or silver. But this is uh, the my idea of what a TM would look like owned by Usagi and it's got like um, a Milky Way Cafe receipt which I will say is real, it's an Ikebukuro. Highly recommend if you're going to Ikebukuro in Tokyo. It is such a cute little cafe and everything is like moon and stars and space themed. It's really cool. Like even like their tall glasses, which are like really tall. But they're star shaped, like it's pretty cool. So I thought she would go there, she'd be into that. Um, even though it's not in her like prefect or whatever they're called. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I thought planner in a planner, and it is like a lush spice, but in, it's in like, I would totally get a pink planner, like lush, if it was in the botanical rose color, because I like the cooler blue. 
But I'm just gonna like slip it here in the side. I was thinking maybe one day I'd print it to be like this big, to be like a page thing, but so maybe one day. We've got that there just sticking out, layering. Then I made this washi card, it's just a thin one. I just um, put a lamination pouch through my laminator by itself, so it's just literally the pouch. And it is a thicker lamination. And then I laid on this vinyl glitter transparent vinyl, like this transparent glitter vinyl that I got off Amazon. And it is holographic, but you know that doesn't really show up in this lighting. And then I just put two of my washi samples on, literally like two like layers. Uh, I didn't want to use up too much because I won't be using it in the planner. I know this, so I don't want to waste any. But I've got the white bows with um, white with pink bows and the Galaxy 3.0 moons there. And I thought they'd be perfect just sticking out here. I only need to do two, but because it's a long thin card, it stays in really well. And you can see both adorable washies. I put in a lot of things into here, so I didn't give myself a lot left to actually put in here. I should say that a lot of these have holographic overlays on them, it's just they don't show up in this light. So I might just, I think that's all I got left is my Dr. Pepper <laughs> from Fox and Pip um, die cut with overlay. So I might put that there and just layer it because I don't know. I really wish it was cherry Dr. Pepper, but because that's what I like, um, but I'll, I'll take that anyway. And is that it? Is that, I'm not really big on like adding too much to these. I think that's going to be it for the front, just because I don't like it. If I'm opening and closing it, I don't want it to be too, like, dishevelly. So that's what I'm going to do for now. Yeah, I think that's literally everything that I brought out that I could put in the pockets. So, um, now I'm just going to go through and add some paper clips. I, if you saw when I was de- um, while I was taking all of them out, I've got all of these K&Co XOXO black paper clips and I also bought a bunch of gold. So I thought gold would go better with this set. So I'm starting in May for the monthly. So I'm just, I'm not even going to do it to the cover. I'm just going to do it to here. Just put it down the bottom here and I can like grip it and open it straight up. Uh, for daily, um, my daily isn't as big right now. I think I'm going to skip out the two fronts. So I'm just going to use this little pink paper clip that I got from uh, Heather Ann Plans, I believe. It was on one of her orders. So I'm just going to actually use this here just to like mark out the top of the today so I can go straight to it. Really cute. And once it gets really like when I get to this section, I think I will switch to a big gold one. Um, weekly. Because this is my just holding my rewind, I don't think I'm going to put a clip. Or maybe I will just um, use this gold bow clip, which I actually got from a Scribble Prince Co. Um, subscription just to hold my next week that I need to plan. And then I do want to use a clip here. But I'm restarting this so it's not too bad. But I think I want to clip through the middle. No, that's pretty much, hmm. So I don't think I need a clip for the back yet as well. So I'm just gonna put it here in the dashboard. But when my um, purchases start filling up, because uh, it's a new one, so I have to restart again, then I will do that. But I'll show you quickly how I set up my purchasing. And what pen do I want to use? I think I might use a Copic. I've got three, five, and I've got one. I think I'm going to use the five. So, because I like to use all just sending a printables, inserts, I do not have, she doesn't have an auto tracker and so I make do with these notes pages and this is the polka dot one. 
So what I just do here at the top of each page, I just do um, S for shipped, D for delivered, then I do shop, add item. And see what, it, and I like to do it in a thick pen, so I'm going to probably just do it on this one as well. Kind of make room so you can make um, columns. Originally I did use a ruler to put in the columns, but I don't think you need the columns. So when you get an item, when you order an item, which I did recently, so I'm going to put that in just with my tool pen so it's thinner. I did um, SPC dot four year bundle. So I got the item there, so I know what I'm looking for. When it ships, I'll tick under the S, and when it delivers, I'm going to um, press under the D. And there you go, you're tracking all your purchases, that's how I like to track them. I don't need dates or anything. I just like to keep track of what I actually purchased, um, because it's not always on Etsy. And whether it's shipped or not, and whether I've gotten it. So I can keep an eye on my purchases that way. I don't think I'm going to do anything else with the back pocket. So I think we're all ready actually to do, because I'm not too much of a decorative planner, like in terms of my TN, I think we're ready to do a flip through. So now the setup is done and we're ready for the flip through. If you just skipped forward to the flip through, I will explain where everything was from and I'm sorry if it's a repeat from the setup. So. Uh, but I'll let you guys know what I did if you didn't watch the setup. So this is my Foxy Fix Spice Pepper uh, B6 Compact. I love this leather. I love it. I highly recommend Spice. It's just really, really beautiful. And I just got a gold heart, in, uh, gold moon embossed, which made me think I should get a Sailor Moon set up because it looks like Luna. And... Um, yeah, so I call her Luna. <laughs> but first we have here the front. I'll come in a little bit. And in the pockets I just have a slight bit of decoration. I have a washi card that I made with holographic glitter with some simply gilded washi. I have this die cut from that I printed off from, um, so it's a digital download from Fox and Pip of the Dr. Pepper and Planner and I just put a holographic overlay on it, but you can't really see it in this filming setup. Then I have one of my own digital downloads available in my shop for personal use, is the Usagi, um, or Usagi uh, TN. So this is what I imagine her teen is like, and that also has a holographic overlay. So in other lights, this will be really pretty. And then I just got a laminated card here to keep the planner more sturdy and protected. And I just put a little, and then I put a little once more with love um, weekly tracker on the back, which I could use a wet erase marker with, or a sharpie, and I just use a dry erase to erase it. What you do is you write with the sharpie and then when you want to get rid of it you just put the dry erase over the top like fill it in and then rub it off and it gets the marker off for you so it's really useful. So my first dashboard here is I'm using my um, a uh, my hand sticker which is from my planning Yusaki set but this will now be available as a digital download if you just want this one piece. Because I thought it makes a really cute die cut. So it's just Sailor Moon uh, Yusagi holding Polaroids of her and um, Mamoru. Her and the inner senshi and obviously Chibi, her daughter. Not that she loves her that much <laughs> as a young kid. But um, I thought that would be really cute for the front. Then I just laid up some simply um, gilded washi with different foils. You can kind of see there. And then a glitter washi, which I just luckily got for me for my birthday. And then I have these holographic glitter stars, which you could probably buy from anywhere, to be honest. I got them in a Planet Gems uh, mystery kit last year. And then I just used my own papers from my Planet Yusagi set. So this is where you, like, you can go and buy digital art and just print off all your own papers, which is really fun. Then that's the back of that paper. I just flipped them in the printer so they're double sided. 
Then I made this tab by myself to just get got my leftover cardboard um, papers and I just cut out little tabs and rounded the corners and they had a rose colored days um, transparent gold foil words up here so I got monthly and this is the monthly from Jessenia Printables and this is the monthly on four pages so you have the Hello May, the Habit Tracker let me know what you guys put in here because I could probably put a few more in um, I'm just trying to do it more health wise and also mental health so and then I can show you how I'm using my because I don't have no, I don't have any like secret custom stuff here. This is the month on four pages. So you get month on one page, which I just use some mild liners, um, which are like a type of highlighter from Japan that I just use to sort of highlight little bits and pieces here. And it's really just all pen. I've got like new easy planners, request my US. I had a meeting on Friday. Two months to Austin, two months to the SBC planner party. I put in Ramadan begins because there are a lot of um, Muslim families living in my area and it's good to know when their holidays are on. I don't know, just to be sort of <laughs> respectful to their religion and Mother's Day and stuff uh, and my bills as well. Then here in this front I have my subscriptions, like people who've subbed to my channel start and end. So I thought I should finally track like more of my business social media stuff. So I've also got my Etsy income for total for the month and how much I've put into my savings for the month. Just to see if my Etsy shop is getting any better through the months or whatever. Then she has these three boxes down here which I put art, YouTube and work and these are things that I want to finish in the month so I want to do a nautical kit and also put up digital downloads in my shop so these are fashion girls and items that I thought people might like to buy separately for themselves then YouTube I just have videos I want to put up this month and one is this setup um, and then I got work and I want to finish up my regime research which I won't go into but that's what the months look like in this um, one and I'll just repeat it through the months and add and change things as I need to. Then these dashboards, the back is just this um, mild liner, you can see here, <laughs> um, highlighter that I drew for the set, the Planet Yusaki set because I really love the way the highlighters look visually. So just put that there for fun. And then this one has my roses, excuse me, my roses pattern and just a little lunar cat in the corner. So I thought that was really plain and simple. And the inside is this um, light black starry paper and I put another little Dr. Pepper from Fox and Pippin here and also has the holographic crystal overlay from eBay which is listed down below. It's from Paper Street Plastics. And that's where you can get overlays if you can't get Hobby Lobby. Then I have a daily um, insert also from Jasnani Printables. It's supposed to be pink but I accidentally have black and white set on. So it's just black and white for now but next time I print it I'll print it in pink. And I thought I could use this instead of the weekly. Just because I didn't find out I was always using it. And I thought I could have more room to just brain dump and make lists and I can track hydrate and goals for the day because I don't use it every single day so I thought this might be a better option than the weekly. So I'm sorry there won't be any more of those pre-planned weekly spreads. I'm going to give these dailies a try. It's just going to be, be it's just going to be pen really. Then the inside of this dashboard I just have the Sailor Moon transformation pen which I drew as a real pen <laughs> and on the back it's just plain because I really liked the roses pattern. Then the front of my Rewind Weekly I have my uh, plan one of my Plan Yusagi Fashion Girls and I layered her over some Simply Gilda Washi as well as the MT and then put in the little holographic stars because I thought it needed something a little bit more sprinkled around. I thought this turned out really cute with my page strokes um, paper. 
and the inside is just blank holographic glitter which I also made then I've got the Jessenia Weekly and this is what the um, layout and this is what I'm going to be doing my rewind plan with Miss in um, just copying Andrea from SPC basically so I got that in there just to keep it safe and it's not like wandering around my desk because um, obviously I'm not going to be using it while I'm out and about but I like to keep it safe and then the inside I just have a bubble tea die cut with holographic as well on it that I got from um, not like NSFWCA like it's like not safe for work .ca or whatever um, but they'll be listed below but they have a bunch of cute um, digital downloads and I love bubble tea so I had to get this one I just added that in there and on the back of that I got more holographic stars as well as two die cuts from Scribble Prince Co. This one was from more SPC that you could buy and this one is of my drawings of Jessica and Andrea and then she just, Andrea just sent me some of these so I like to include that because I don't know, I'm weird. <laughs> uh, and I think they look cute, I don't know, they're probably like some of my best ones. And then the next and final dashboard, I decided to swap these around because, I don't know, I changed my mind a bit. I thought this one came out a bit more cute. I got my other fashion girl, with, I chose the one with medium skin tone and blue hair. And then just a white Starbucks cup that I drew. Also from the set which has like holographic star glitter. And then I just did a couple of washies here as well as the glitter washi. I thought they just came out really cute and simple on this. I realize I don't want to like... I think I'm just going to keep this here until I need it. Um, uh, I should probably be saying where the paper clips are from. The big gold ones are Kanko XOXO. This little daily pink one is just from Heather Ann Plans that she uses to decorate your orders. The bow one is from Scribble Prince Co. a long time ago, but you can buy them anywhere. Um, yeah, and then the inside of this, I just have this uh, digital download with again holographic paper on it. And this is from Murdoch Talks, and she did a whole bunch of princess dresses. And then the notes page is just from um, Jacenia Printables again, and I just use these to create into an online order tracker just by doing these simple columns and then I do that until the very back which I turn into my notes pages. Um, so I'll just scribble stuff I need at the back and the front is the purchase tracker. And in the back of this one I have this digital freebie from Paper Princess Plans Facebook group. as the um, Autumn Planner Girl set that she drew and I thought it was really cute. So I just put that there because we are in autumn still. And on the very back we just have a simple little bunny label from Simply Gilded as well as another one of these but this one has a pocket for stickers or receipts or whatever as well as um, just plain on the back. Which I also just made myself. So that is my Sailor Moon Planning Usagi setup. I hope it gave you some inspiration definitely check out clip art shops because you may not think um, that you know that it's just for sticker shops or whatever but you can buy them yourself um, and print off your own papers I, it's just cardstock that I printed um, double-sided in my inkjet printer and it turned out perfectly so you don't really need like to buy you don't always have to buy kits if you don't want to if you have the means to print them up yourself. Um, but yeah, that's the set. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to see more TN videos in the future. And I'll see you next time. Bye!